you will never see path tracing with the same eyes again. Path tracing isn't exactly new. For years, it was done mostly on CPUs, and even on modern GPUs, it can still take minutes to produce a clean frame, for example, inside Unreal Engine. That's why it feels almost surreal that games like Cyberpunk can actually run it in real time. Rasterization, or screen space rendering, is the fastest and most common method. It just projects 3D objects as flat images on the screen. Ray tracing takes a step further. It simulates rays of light bouncing once or twice to create more realistic reflections and shadows. Path tracing pushes this to the extreme, tracing many rays with multiple bounces, producing the most physically accurate lighting, but at a much higher cost and performance. Unfortunately, it would be virtually impossible to run real-time path tracing without upscaling or AI tools. Otherwise, rendering and denoising a single frame would require several minutes. Path tracing is more noticeable in scenes with multiple lights bouncing on polished and reflective surfaces. That's why it can feel unnecessary in games full of vegetation with no mirrors and with only the sun as the main light source. But in worlds like cyberpunk, packed with neon signs, glass, and shiny metals, it creates a whole new level of immersion. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Be Mad Channel for more content like this.